Hi everyone, this is Fisher Coda here. Um, today we're going to go through a lead code problem 1085. The problem is sum of digits in the minimum number. A very straightforward and easy question as well. Again, um, just before we dive into the code, um, this is a channel, YouTube channel that is dedicated to provide lead code solutions and prepare um, fellow CS majors or CS or people or folks that have been in industry in computer science industry for a few years and that would like to further their careers. Um, so prepare for algorithms and data structures and prepare for interviews. This is a channel dedicated for doing this. So please, if you enjoy the content, please don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button to our channel and don't forget to hit the like button. We would really, really appreciate that. That's going to help with the YouTube algorithm a lot. Okay, with that said, let's begin this, um, this algorithm, this problem. Um, the problem is given an array of positive integers, let S be the sum of the digits of the, minimum, of the minimal element of A. Return, it's asking us to return zero if the S is odd and otherwise it's asking us to return one. Um, let's walk through example one. It, we're given this array with these elements, the output is zero. Why? Because as the explanation says, the minimal element in this array is one. And the sum of the digits of this element, which is one, is going to be one, which is an odd number. So based on the problem requirement, if it's an odd number, we're just going to return zero. So we return zero here. Of course, it's, if it's odd, uh, if it's even, we're just going to return one, Then, which is the example two. Let's walk through example two. We're given this array. And the output is one. Why one? Because the minimal element of this given array is 33. And we sum all, the, all of the digits in this, in this number, which is three plus three. There are two digits in this minimal number, which is 33. Three plus three, which is six. Six is an even number, so the answer is one. There are some con constraints here. Uh, this is a very straightforward question, but it, it's um, checking us the CS fundamentals. Um, so we're just going to dive right into the solution of this problem. So basically, two steps. First step is that we'll loop through this array. There's no better way. We'll have to loop through this ar array at least once. So time complexity for looping through this array is going to be O n. And then after finding step two, after finding this minimal element, we're just going to find every single digit of this minimal element and then sum of them up. Last step is just to do a modulus to see whether this, and this is an odd or even number. Very straightforward solution. I don't think there's any other way. Uh, for different languages, the syntax might be a little bit different, but the algorithm is the same. All right, let's dive into the code. First, uh, we need to find the minimal element in this given array. Let's just call it main. Let's assign the first element, the first element in this array to be the current, um, initially, the initial minimal element. Then we can start from the second one, the second element, which is at index one. Go through until we reach the end. Do main use math main function, which is going to take two parameters one is main, the other is the current element that we're iterating on. Do a comparison, see which one is smaller, we'll just assign the smaller one to the uh, current main. After doing that, we'll have another variable called sum. After finding the minimal element in this given array, we'll just do the sum. Uh, how do we do the sum to go through every single digit of a given integer? This is a very common practice. Also, I hope that you guys can remember this, which is very common. Um, you can use it practically everywhere in your coding interviews. So some while, this is the procedures to get to extract every single element from an integer. While sum is greater than zero, it says it's all positive integers. So we'll just assume while sum is greater than zero. No, while min the minimal element, which means we'll start from the leftmost digit of this 
minimal element and then go through to its left to its rightmost. Then we'll do sum plus from the leftmost. How do we get the leftmost? We use modulus. So what what does this expression do? It extracts the leftmost digit of the minimal element, and then we sum it to the sum. And then after that, we'll just uh, divide it by ten, so we can get to the next. After all of that done. This minimal element will become a zero. Once it becomes zero, this while loop condition will break, will meet. So it will break out of this while loop. And then at this moment, we'll check whether this sum is an odd or even number. So if we do a modulus two, if it's equal, if it equals zero, which means it's an odd,、uh, it's an even number based on the problem description. If it's an even number, we're just going to return one here. Otherwise, we'll return zero. That's it. Very straightforward. Let's submit. All right, accepted. Wow, zero milliseconds faster than one hundred percent. Yeah, as I said, there is no better way.、Um, I don't think there is any optimization sp、um, space available. This is a very straightforward question, and there is only one possible. There might be some. A、uh, minor improvement in terms of syntax, syn syntax in, for different languages. You can, for example, you could you could use in Java eight and above. You could use a stream to find the minimal,、um, the minimal element in this array. But in terms of in terms of time time complexity, there's really no there's really no big difference. So that's it about this very straightforward question.、Um, If you guys like this, or if you have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave me comments in the description in the description below. I would really, really appreciate it. And also, if you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. That's going to help with the YouTube algorithm a lot. And also, don't forget, don't hesitate to subscribe to our channel. I would really, really appreciate it. All right, see you guys next time.